really. I don't think we're the first 3v3 tournament. We're just the, like, yeah, versus I guess did one. I think uh, they've even done one in Tri-State. I found in the stream earlier, but go crazy. Versus might have been the first land one. Anyway. Yeah, I wish I'd watch that. Well, we can't ever because it's on Tuesday and we're over here trying not to murder the internet. Moving on. So, Mikado takes the field uh, thing, field spaceship, the boomerang, playing a very strong duel with these fire projectiles. His small counter gets uh, shut down by Libre's assault of uh, switch your moves. Uh, I don't know. I guess uh, it's hard to do Electro up a little bit too early because that did not connect. Now, Picano has the edge. However, Libre has very little problems getting out of the corner with uh, choices such as Wild Charge. That was an interesting exchange. Of course, Libre had counter frames, so that aerial dive is going to knock Picano silly. Oh, crab, what? Wait, oh, Spark on Block is punishable, is what I'm hearing, which I assume is a dive bomb. Okay, so, yeah, Brakeson's extremely fast counter has disadvantages, such as being caught by Wild Charge. Kinda will be forced to use one of his secondaries or third aries. I'm not sure what he picked. What poison did he choose? He chose the Darkrai. Now, I don't know about this matchup, necessarily. I think Skyrazen might be still learning experimenting with it. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, if Skyrim was running Togekiss, Picano would just be a dead duck, but he's got frogs, so he's got a little bit more. Picano has more time to set up some traps. Skyrim isn't showing some respect to these traps, which he was not showing to me earlier, he was just diving right in. But maybe it's because I learned the trick that uh, I think Jin taught me was just hide in the hands of death. You have a lot of shield pressure, there, or shield power there. Anyway, uh, Darkrai is not a nightmare mode, so uh, Skyrim can just wham an assault and not fear the drill. But, Kano has Finnegan, who's gonna push Skyrim away slightly. Alright, Kano gets a free Nightmare mode because he's in burst. But Skyrim will not take this lying down. He's going to pop first, knowing that he's well within safe range if Kano's burst. Now, bear in mind, Darkrai, of course, gets like invincibility frames upon using his burst when he's in Nightmare mode. But, that sort of thing will catch Kano's button pushing. Taking his HP down, but definitely not taking him out yet. Like, I guess I should have said definitely. Yeah, 66 HP left. Now, Skyrim has those two buffs. The defense is not gonna do squat because he's only got 5 HP, and it's gone because of the Dark Hands. Kano's in an okay spot right now. Unfortunately, both of these. Well, I, I, I take that back. Machamp Darkrai is miserable from a champ. However, I think Skyrim Sky Reason knows enough about our Dark Eyes to get around it. Uh, Lucario is a sort of makes Dark Eyes life miserable if you play like me. I don't know if, about playing like the Kano. I don't think he fears the overzoning as much as I would. But I'm not, I'm actually very surprised these Dark Hands are working because usually our spear just points them out. Uh, let's see. He has a Mulga, which might help a little bit. It's not going to save him from Frog. It's going to trade. But it will slow Lucario down, which will help Lucario out a lot. Now, as far as I can tell, Aura Sphere vs. Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is just faster and will eventually beat it out if he keeps spamming it. At least that's the pattern I'm noticing. Picano doesn't technically punish Extreme Tribute, but he gets that counter, and Skyries will get that poke to take the last of Picano's HP. Picano's down to a Bachamp. And I don't have the slightest idea what to expect from this because I don't think he's ever picked Machamp and he's been here for like two years or however long the Wii version's been out. He says this isn't gonna go. <laughs> okay. Well. Alright, well, he found the rock button. I'm sure he found Bulk Up, but I underestimate how complicated it is to like maintain Bulk Up when I'm playing Machamp. Bulk is going to catch uh, Lucario's poke right there. Make Lucario almost as slow as Machamp. Okay, Skyrim gets a taste of his own medicine with that raw grab. <laughs> oh, he gets two of them! And how does that not kill? I do, I'm a little surprised, but that he don't. Because I found the wake up slap button once, even I don't know that button. All right, well that actually went very well. Now he's gonna. Now they have both have to deal with the dittos, and remember the still two out of three, and we're on the first game.
All right. Well, I yeah. Now I know Skyrim has had, unfortunately for him and many of us, a lot of experience in the Ditto. But Picano will take uh, eat that cross from the counter grabs in. Oh gosh. All right. So Skyrim knows that double scoop is punishable, so he goes for that level area combo. Picano uh, is a little too far to really do anything from up there. But he did pop burst. Fennekin is does not quite catch the butt bomb. Oh, he, oh! <laughs> air grab versus air grab versus air grab. Mikado is not popping burst, which is okay, because I mean it's not great anyway, because he can Skyrim's a friend knows how to cheese it. Alright, Picano gets that counter frame, but without the cross chop, he can't follow up on it. That is not game. Picano still has 42 HP left, but Skyrim knows what he's doing, and that is the thing to do. Skyrim will take this game. All right, they're just going right back in. So yeah, uh, I'm curious how Versus ran this and anyone else has run 3v3 if the rules are the same. Uh, we kind of came to the agreement, we didn't catch earlier, that uh, winner has to keep their start of Pokemon like in the same order. Well, at least the first one has to be the same. But a loser can change his normal, I believe. Anyway. That which means Skyrim is in a start of the Pikachu Libre once again. And Picano chose to start with Brakeson again, because why not Brakeson Pokemon? Skyrim is making good uh, usage of these Pikachu Libre combos. I don't know if he's like been practicing, but this Pikachu Libre is not bad at all. I like quite like it. A little bit of matchup things. Okay, so I think Picano hit 8x and Lee Gray's 8y beats just everything, especially breaks in 8x just every 8y. The more you know, or the more you try and you know, debunk and get back to me later. Uh, anyway, okay, Libre's combo is not long enough to eat that boomerang, so Picano will take that phase shift. Con er, Libre has burst quite easily and she will go for that. Okay, discharge in the kick and the discharge will take us back into the shield. However, Picano has no fear and just starts popping his burst. Uh, he was like plus on block. Please don't do that. And he's my husband. I can say stuff like that. <laughs> Not nobody's actually plus. My perspective, but anyway. All right, uh, Skyrim has a lovely combo into Electro up against the wall, which slows Picano down in field phase, and he's Picano is not in a good spot because he's not having enough HP, and he's got to just make some YOLO hits to take back. But yeah, five seconds, he physically cannot take this back. All he can do is whittle down Libre's HP for the next round, and he does not because Libre counters through Cubone and takes his last of Picano's HP. Picano decided to just get straight to Machamp. Uh, I'm not sure I agree with this at all, but supposedly it's in Machamp's favor. I mean, I guess I can see that. Libre can duck the counter, though, I think. Confident. But uh, Picano is not mashing counter quite as much as he does as Breaks in Darkrai, so. He'd probably do it anyway. Skyrim is over there doing low stance and just being adorbed. Tries to go through Cubone and technically does, but Picano catches the end of that. Right, Picano's like making good use of a champ's counter. Uh, that does not counter the combo, but Skyries and will take make make use of that whiff and whack Picano in the face with that first. Alright, Picano is sitting on like Woke up. Oh, what? Oh, he's like, does not want to take that submission, so he just throws out a safety frog. Right, uh, Skyrise is doing a good job bringing this back. Of course, uh, Libra has two buffs, so this is going pretty smoothly for him. Kip. Now, if Picano had a cross chop, he could have taken it, but he did not. Instead, he tries to counter when he was unsafe. He made himself double unsafe. 
Skyries and knowing that you could punish double scoop probably went for the grab thinking it was his fastest uh, option. Starting off with Dark Cry, or rather continuing with Dark Cry, starting off this round with Dark Hands. Uh, he gets himself out of the corner, which is nice, but it only lasts so long because Libre probably excels anywhere in the entire field. Alright, uh, I don't know how he got into that wild charge, but he did, and like, Dark Ray's HP is almost all gone at this point. Uh, Picano pops Burst and Field, which is nice, because the whole free nightmare mode thing. Uh, but he didn't need it, because uh, Libre's dead. But unfortunately, you know, his burst is gone, so. He's got to deliver like the rest of this with just a dark cry and two matchups, one that is not very good for dark cry I don't think, and one that Skyries just happens to be good at, like the player matchup here. I think Skyries has got this, but Picano of course does not play anything like me, so he could just screw with the buttons and take this like freely. Okay, Skyries is like destroying all these dark hands, which is just hurting Picano's strategy because he uses dark hands a lot. Uh, Diglett's gonna help a little bit. Gonna keep Machamp at bay. <laughs> Alright, okay, so Picano catches those vulnerable frames quite nicely from Machamp's counter. Tries to get a Dark Void, but it's stuffed out by Machamp's activation of Burst. Okay, Picano almost got out of the way of that counter, but he gets hit by it. Skyrazen will take this confidently.